Hey, what's up? My name is Tackless, and today we're going to be looking at a Project Spark tutorial on how to make a very basic, simple character. Now, this tutorial might seem a bit repetitive, so you can already get a basic, simple character when you create a new world with the world wizard, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyways, so that you can learn for yourself how to do it, what the different steps mean, and um, how to customize it to, to do what you want it to do. So, step one, I've got this guy here. He's from the new blacksmith pack, and I think he's pretty cool. Um, this would work with any of the playable characters that you can find uh, right in here. Any of these guys, it would work, but it works better with the humanoids. So let's open up his brain. First thing we want to do, we want to open up the when panel. Go to once, so it only does this command once in the entire game. And we're going to assign it a team. The team tells it who his friends are and who his enemies are. So we're gonna put them on team one. So team equals one. This way, any other creatures that are on team one, he's buddies with, but any creature that's on team two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, he is not friends with. He'll either run or attack or whatever. Next, let's give him a camera. So we're gonna make it a follow camera so it follows him in third person. Now we can also go to modifiers and rummage through these, but I'm not gonna go into that today. Next, let's let him walk around. Gonna go to controls, left stick, and move, just that easy. Now there's lots of other modifiers that you can do, such as he can only walk forward or backward, he can only rock in a certain direction, he uh, can only do it while swimming, he walks on a path, etc. But this is what we're doing for now. Now, Let's get to the A, B, X, Y buttons. I'm going to assign B as the interact button, which is pretty standard. But if I simply did B and then interact, what it would do is it would interact with any object in the entire world. So we don't want to do that. We only wanted to have it interact with objects that are close in front of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put detect, which limits its radius to eh, about five meters. Then, detect interactable in front, objects in front. So it only detects an interactable object that's in front of it. Now we're going to be creating some child lines of code. So you need to grab the five here, press A, and slide it over one. Now this line of code only runs after this line of code has been met. So when it has detected an interactable object, we're going to make it highlight it. It, it being the object it is detecting. And let's make the color blue. Next, we're going to tell it what to do. So when B is pressed, Interact. There we go. Simple as that. This is a more sophisticated and easier way of interacting, but also a little bit simpler than what the uh, default template character gives you. But it still functions just as well. Next, let's give it the ability to jump. So, gonna go to A, and we're gonna put the pressed modifier on this. The modifiers change the line of code right in front of it a little bit. So, when A is pressed, we're going to do jump. Now all Project Spark characters are assigned to have two jumps, so they can jump and then double jump. You can change that to be 10 or five. I've done that in some of my crazy combat worlds, but usually I want it to be one because that makes more sense. So you can either modify the, the code here. So we can go to movement, properties, jump, and then multi-jump count or we can go into the uh, character's properties and modify it there, which I'll be doing in a bit. And that saves lines of code. Next, let's give it two different types of attacks. Let's do X for one of the attacks. This will be the light attack. So an X, going to attack, and then add a modifier, that'll be a light attack. Then we're gonna do Y pressed. 
So for the X attack, you can press and hold it, and he'll just keep attacking. But for Y, you have to keep pressing Y. For this, we are... Oh, I already assigned a control. We're going to do attack, medium. And just for fun, we'll also put heavy and end combo. So what we're doing here is he'll attack, he'll do a medium attack, and then he'll follow up right away with a heavy attack, and that will end his combo. So this is a much more beefy attack if he needed it. Then for the final attack we're going to do, we're going to do right trigger and shoot. But I don't want to, I don't want this guy shooting fireballs, which is the default projectile. So we're going to go into the gallery and we're going to pick an object for him to shoot. So it really doesn't matter what object, so long as it's kind of a small object. Um, let's have him throw metal bars, because what else would a blacksmith be throwing? And you can run this through here. This will change how fast um, the projectile actually flies through the air. This would change how many... This one would change how many shots per second. That kind of thing. But we're going to stick with this for right now. So... This is a very basic character that is functional. So we're going to test him out, make sure everything works right. So, looks like he can run around just fine. He can jump and currently still double jump. And when we get near this hammer, it turns blue. Press B and I have equipped it. Awesome. So let's do... This is a lightweight is a pretty hefty lightweight and then here's the heavy there we go if you keep pressing it then he'll finish off with a heavy so medium and then heavy that adds just a little more detail to your combat that makes it a little more exciting and a little more challenging but we're not quite done yet let's go back into our character's brain Scroll all the way down to the bottom. And let's give this guy a health bar. So we're going to go display, display meter, health. And for the modifiers, we're going to put the position top center. That's a pretty good spot for it. Now, red is usually a pretty good color for meter. But if you didn't like red, you can go to values, color, and green. Let's put the health bar to green. Now, if you also wanted it to be a little more exact than just kind of a vague bar. We go to display, display, and then health. Now this is where it gets a little bit fun, but I hope you can track with me. Go to math plus, go to text. And since I'm not gonna be changing his maximum health, I'm gonna put slash 100. Come on, 100, there we go. Now for the modifiers, we're going to make this font size large. And we're going to position it also top center. But since this line of code is beneath this line of code, this one will default to be on top of this one. Now we can add priorities to make sure that they stay there in case of updates and whatnot. But for now, this is all we need. So what this is doing is it will display the health, which is the same as the bar as a number and the plus means that it will sit beside this piece of text. So that's how you can make a health meter and then also have the text display as well. So we did that and I also want to make sure that this guy can only jump once because I don't really think that this chubby guy can be doing multiple jumps. So we're going to go to properties, movement, jump, and then set that to one. Let's give this guy a try. See there? He's got his health bar and then 100 out of 100 currently. Let him pick up an item and then let's take a hit. And the number updates dynamically along with the health meter. 
I don't have any health pickups out here, but if your health increased, then it would also change back. Man, that's a heavy attack. And no matter how much I butt and jam A, I can only jump once. Which keeps this fat guy limited to the ground pretty well. So, that's how you make a basic character. If you have any questions or anything that you want to talk about, I can make another tutorial video looking into more advanced characters. But that's how you make a pretty simple guy. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you have anything else that you'd like me to make a tutorial video on, let me know and I will see what I can do. Thanks for watching.